Welcome back to Assault. Last time we were introduced to our antagonist, the Aperoids. Time to actually learn about them. Members of Star Fox, a grave day. I am not a crook. The Linux <laughs> system is in power. I am a dog. How do you know? I find it weird we that you know. said members of Star Fox and not just Star Fox. On all the details. Don't want to get again, confused. Everybody. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I woke up from a long <laughs> night of drinking. You never told me that. <laughs> it's well, Beltino. Geez, it's Slippy's <laughs> dad. Slippy's dad, yeah. Continue. These Aperoids... Aperoids? You know, it is nice that his name is so different from Slippy. If this was a normal cartoon, his name would probably be like Sloppy or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say just dad. <laughs> we were somehow able to survive that trial, but that was These two would later have their own little side game called Star Fox Guard. Oh yes, the Beltino was in that. I can't say that name without putting emphasis on every syllable. That was Beltino. I don't know, I've never played Star Fox Guard. I'm gonna take Yoshi's word for it. I feel like I've seen him in artwork with him and Slippy being like, Whoa! because the little things are coming at him. I have Guard right here. You must find the distress signal. Wow, I don't even own Guard. It's a yellow frog. That signal shouldn't so it's not a, All right, so Slippy's cousin, Sloppo, is also... <laughs> now that's Slappy. I think it was like supposed to be his uncle. I'm counting on you. Let's do this. Also, the mocap or the, or whatever, the motions in these cutscenes look really weird and unnatural. Maybe they got the guys from Sonic Adventure 2 for it. Everyone jogging in place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the scene where Fox rips out part of a helicopter and uses it as a snowboard and barrels towards the base. That'd be dope. Don't say it wouldn't be. It would be pretty cool. Like, when Sonic does it, I go, yeah, okay, but when Fox does it, I'm like, that's fucking rad as hell. It's too quiet. Where the f- <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some goddamn noise! Right it's too quiet, pulls gun out of his ear, that's better. <laughs> what have I been missing? I've been reading lips for years. It's the Aperoids after all. I like how this game answers the question, why doesn't he just have a gun? He does. Because it works. Fox? This is our second control type. This is basically a third-person shooter, and as we mentioned, you choose at the start of the game which control style you want. There's like two separate controls for the R-Wing and for on foot, and also for the other vehicle in the game, which we're going to be getting later in this part, in fact. But you need to specifically choose, I think, the second choice because it controls like a modern third-person shooter. All the others control terribly. Yeah, I, I feel like just people don't know that. Every time I hear people criticize Star Fox Assault, it's like, oh, the tank controls, they're really bad. And it's like, my friend, let me introduce you to your best friend, the options menu. <laughs> I feel like I'm, we're like this let's play is gonna blow a lot of minds like what the fuck you could play this game like halo or some shit well no but close enough <laughs> <laughs> you can play this game like halo not not at all actually it, it plays nothing like that fox also gets a bunch of different weapons i just picked up a rocket launcher There's i think no end of these things Peppy. Send me a landmaster, will yeah, you? Change them with A, because oh, that's, that's the most What's that's the, the most important function. Well, I got my hands full. But what else is new? <laughs> Done. I kinda Where like this man? too. Like he's usually in the R Wing. And now they're doing interesting things to keep him like, hey look, Fox doesn't always have to be in an R Wing. He can be on foot and he can just summon a landmaster. Like I like that you have different options. Sure, it's scripted and you have to do that. Systems targeting is as spelling as ever. Thanks, Pappy. <laughs> And I feel like his quipping here sounds more like how Fox would actually talk. Yeah. As opposed to, imagine if this was Star Fox Adventures, Fox. Ah! Great, Peppy. Why do I work with you? Peppy, thanks, you idiot, you old bitch. Peppy, I think you should have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I root for your death every day. <laughs> I like what you said. He doesn't always have to be in the R wing, but here we are on land, and two minutes in, he's like, "Can I have a vehicle, please? I don't feel safe." <laughs> yeah. 
what I meant was I like that he has different options. I like that he yeah. didn't just start with the R wings. He actually gave a command. I want you guys in R wings. I'll be on the ground. And then when it got overwhelming, he was like, all right, shit, let me get the fucking Landmaster. I will say the R wing missions are universally better than all the other missions, but these are actually perfectly fine. Yeah. Though the Landmaster, it doesn't matter what control scheme you choose. It's always going to be a little awkward. Yeah. It doesn't control Smash great. Anyone? It doesn't turn very nicely. And if you try to use a C-stick, you just activate the jets and move off to the side. It's more strafing. There is actually an option to control it as if you're box on foot, but it also doesn't feel very good. I feel like that's the one I have selected, but it still controls weird. Yeah. I try to avoid it as much as possible, unless like, I'm trying to get across a level or there's some things that have to be blasted down by the Landmaster's cannon. Yeah. <laughs> Landmaster is fun, though. You can just drive into enemies. You can activate the jet and just send them flying. Fucking Tony Hawk in this shit. I like that improvement to the Landmaster. Before, if you just ran into anything, you took damage. Yeah, like a tank wouldn't do. <laughs> That's the spirit, Fox. Also, that was a really great uh, field goal attempt you had over there. Thank you. I learned. I watch football now. Have you? I haven't been watching football this season. Oh, I have. Oh, good. I, I'm going to stop because I will absolutely make this football episode. <laughs> <laughs> Star football assault. Oh, man. That's the next fucking Star Fox game. Oh, boy. You thought Federation Force got some shit. <laughs> Star Fox fucking American football. For whatever fucking reason. Hey Fox, go log and catch me as he jumps out of the <laughs> artway. <laughs> Spread eagle, catch me Fox, like he's in ballet. <laughs> no, they're actually on a football field and Falco just leaps and spins like a football <laughs> in the air. <laughs> Falco, come in hot! <laughs> Trust your instinct. Wait a minute. I'm not giving up. I just said that they keep appearing. Oh, now they're really going to keep appearing. Yeah, this is one of the downsides of the on foot sections. They tend to drag on. At least this one has checkpoints, which can't be said for some of the later ones. I mean, this video is about as long as the first one, but it, it already feels a little longer. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I gave, like, when I was replaying, I kind of just... It was late. I didn't intend on playing the game long, but I did stop, like, halfway through this level. You need to be careful with this guy. You need to shoot him in the head multiple times. It's easier with a charge shot, but otherwise he'll just roll into you. I was going to pay attention. It almost sounded like it was going to say, hey, they're on our side too. <laughs> Falco, you goddamn idiot. Look at the fucking radar. Just petting one. They're on our side. <laughs> yeah, 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 I call him Scraggly. <laughs> All right, I'm changing his name. Hi, Yeasty. Yeasty. <laughs> Nice <laughs> <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, even though we're on the ground, we still gotta save Slippy. That is cool how they're fighting above you in an R wing. They're ineffective. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're doing their own thing. But I do like it when levels in games have kind of multiple things you need to keep track of. And in this level, you gotta make sure that your friends in the sky don't, uh, explode. <laughs> your friends in the sky don't die. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did these things get in there? They fell from the sky. Like our friends. Well, you know how, like, bugs can, like, squeeze through little cracks and they just piss you off when you miss one when you try to kill them with your sandal? <laughs> Then you have to sleep with the fear that the roach will climb in your mouth while you're sleeping. Well, that's not the fear I have. The fear I have is that uh, I'm going to see it in the morning and I'm going to fucking miss it again. 
That's the best case scenario. I, I literally had a dream last night that my car was covered in spiders. And the only... In <laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd bring that up. Do this level bring that memory back? <laughs> I guess. The memory of last night, yeah. <laughs> the worst part is the old, like, all, it was late, I guess. And all of the, like, exterminators were closed, except for this one 24-hour one that I had to drive to. I couldn't call them for some reason. <laughs> like, ah, great. You had to drive with the fear in order to clear the fear. <laughs> so we got off the rails there for a minute. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I like how he gave up after being shot. Like, okay, okay, you know what? It's like discouraging a shark by punching it. <laughs> right in the honker. No, oh, it's on the side. D damn it. D damn it. Hold, hold on. Fox, gotta say, you look really stupid right now. You guys have the fucking flying R wings! Shoot the targets! We'd have to nosedive in order to do that. You can land the R-Wing! Remember what Jacob said about that one train level in Star Fox 64 that made sense because you didn't have to nosedive? It's the same thing. Who's Jacob? He's a real smart, handsome guy. <laughs> Who's Jacob? He's beautiful. <laughs> that Jacob guy shared a pizza with him once. He dyed his hair blonde. It looks really nice. So this one, we need to go into elevator over here. Thanks, Crystal! I never would have guessed when I was going into buildings. Oh, uh, you hurt yourself, fuck. Oh, sorry. Yeah, don't rocket yourself. Blasted bugs? This game is rated T for Teen. It's written like it's E for everyone. I was about to say that, too. Like, T for Teen, guys, they say die. Oh, don't you, damn it. <laughs> I wanted to use the elevator. Oh, well, now we gotta wait. I feel like through this whole LP, we're gonna we're gonna go between Fox's nasal and Fox's deep boy voice. <laughs> Target destroyed. <laughs> I wanted to use the elevator, damn it! I wanted to use the elevator, damn it! Let's record this LP twice, two different versions. I'll kill myself if I have to. <laughs> Got it. Got it. I don't know. He says that whenever he gets in a vehicle. I don't know why. Driving. Okay, so something else I noticed about Rob64 in this game. He, spoilers. He says confirmed a lot, and it sounds exactly the same every single time he says it, no matter what he said before. I'm just convinced they took the word confirmed and put it at the end of all those sentences. The same recording. Like Siri. <laughs> they had one take, and they were like, perfect. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I bit my tongue! That thing is giant. It's really long! The leader, huh? I see what it's like. That's gonna be me one day. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna have to mutinize Falco. <laughs> yeah! What? I guess this is a face. <laughs> well, it's not a spider, but it's more like a crab. Oh no, even worse. So to take it down, we gotta shoot it at his belly. That'll make it glitch out and it'll drop to the ground. Then we need to hover up onto its top. Be prepared to do some more hovering. He will defend himself by readying energy underneath you. And that will fire up. It's, it's basically more lasers. If you're careful, you can stay up here the entire time. The problem is, the hover doesn't take into account the ground underneath you. It's like, physics is still in effect. Once you go hovering, it's still going to keep walking away from underneath oh, you. Oh. And if it blows up your Landmaster, you do need to go find a replacement. And then you got to do it over again. But this isn't a hard boss. That's pretty cool. I do like the idea that they have backup landmasters, but they don't have backup R wings. Now, Fox, its weak point is on the top. You know what would help if my team kind of like attacked with, but you didn't see that. <laughs> you know what would help if our jets had more fuel. 
<laughs> nah, it wasn't in the budget. We already spent it all on infinite, inferior landmasters. <laughs> yeah, Fox, that's the one that doesn't even fire real bullets. It fires cheese. Yeah, it fires, like, really hard candy canes. Oh, good, the lactose intolerant. I meant to say candy corn, but no, it's festive. Merry candy Christmas. Canes. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> okay, that must be it. Yes, the thing I pointed at. We don't know anything yes, the thing you already have one of, Fox. I know that. Hey, <laughs> it looks like that distress signal is no longer transmitting. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. This is just dumb. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me out. Pigma. <laughs> har har. Oh no, my selective you deafness just it. kicked in. It was you? <laughs> I was setting out a distress signal because I can't breathe. Mm, is it that important? <laughs> then I'm gonna be rich. He's got a pigolade painted on the side of his ship. <laughs> oh, like a little pinup on a plane. That, that's kind of cute. Dang! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang! Rated T for T. No, Fox, uh, you could say fuck. <laughs> I can? Yeah, I give you permission. Hey guys, great fucking job out there. Whoa, Fox, that 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 that's pretty uncalled for. Yeah, right you there. know, I, I feel like the ship just got rated M for mature. <laughs> well, shit. Pigma's back. He seems to be working on his own. Yeah, my favorite guy. He killed my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then he stole my junk. But it is nice to see other ill. But it is nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to see other members of Star Wolf actually doing stuff on their own. You know, like Falco. Yeah, member of Star Wolf, <laughs> Falco. <laughs> One day I would play the fuck out of that kid. Be a good twist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it would be like for the dumbest thing ever. Be like, all right, all right Falco, we're paying you uh five thousand credits a day, and then Wolf is like. We're gonna pay you 5,001 credits. Well, Fox, I guess I gotta turn over to the dark side. <laughs> Technically, you've been outbid. <laughs> <laughs> we are mercenaries for hire. Nothing personal. It's just he's richer. Yeah, I really need that extra corn on the cob that I'd buy with that one dollar. <laughs> you know, so I could throw it at Slippy. But when I inevitably come back eight years later. <laughs> And then I'll come with a new outfit and I'll, hey guys, I'm back from my third bike again. Can I join Star Fox again? <laughs> no. No, no, you can't. Come on. I'll make you rigatoni. <laughs> if I let you back in, will you not make me rigatoni? <laughs> All right, but I'll make you some Foxachini. Eh? I changed my mind again, no. I'll use your actual hair. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Burns pretty good. Tickles the throat. Oh, it tastes like Sonic. Because <laughs> it gets stuck. I know you said it at the end of Star Fox Adventures, but I'm going to say it in a song. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Falco <laughs> either. 